capacity of the country's military to protect citizens. Godwin, Aguam, TVC News, Lafayette. Back here in Lagos, the State Sexual Offences and uh, Domestic Violence Court has uh, sentenced the founder of the Irene Christian Ministry, Feyi Daniels, to life imprisonment for raping his 23-year-old uh, assistant pastor. Justice Romano should also sentenced the defendant to three years imprisonment for sexually assaulting another 19-year-old member of uh, his church. And uh, both terms will run concurrently. Our correspondent, Kemi Foladiemo, has more details on this. In count one, Justice Ramon Ushudi said he believed the testimony of the first complainant, as well as other witnesses who gave direct evidence, which weren't contradicted at any point, despite the defendant's denials. But the judge acquitted the defendant of the second count of raping another church member at his home in 2020. The court said the prosecution fails to prove the elements of the use of force, fear of harm by the complainant, and misrepresentation by the defendants to establish guilt beyond all reasonable doubt. The court can, you know, for that Christmas, it cannot dash out judgments, it cannot dash out sentencing. If the court, looking at the, um, the value of the evidence before it, has said that the first complainant was victim was a victim was actually raped by the convict yes then the court is right in his wisdom this is to send a stern warning to every one of you who think that you can manipulate vulnerable women and girls in the name of the lord justice will survivors will get justice you will find your place yourself in a place where you will not be able to escape one day you can continue to fool everybody, but you will not be able to fool all the people all the time. A lot of men do these crimes. A lot of pastors, big men, you know, they do this. But it is about the survivors speaking up. So this has emboldened everybody who um, is a survivor of sexual assault. Defense counsel. Adebayo Adigbite had urged the court to use his discretion in sentencing, but lead prosecutor Babajide Boyi asked that he be sentenced as charged. The court said the 43-year-old cleric, who didn't have regard for truth, was a risk to the society and should spend the rest of his life behind bars. Justice Oshodi said that the cleric, Feyi Daniels, abused his dominant position to sexually violate two members of his church. The court also held that even though it imposed the maximum sentencing on the convict as directed under the Lagos criminal laws of 2015, it will still not erase the harm that the convict has already wreaked on his victims. Kemi Foladeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.